All right, here we are. We're at the, the last training on how to, um, how we're using Excel and mail merge to actually go find listings for our buyers. All right, so here's the buyer letter that, that I wrote. Dear blank, and we're gonna personalize this, okay? I am reaching out in hopes you might be able to help me. Why is that line important? Um, people like to help other people. Okay, so I'm asking for help. I represent a family who's looking to move into your neighborhood. In fact, they put a great offer on a home listed at 106 Forest Breeze and were not chosen in a multiple bid scenario. So not only, so I asked for help, I'm explaining it's, it's a family looking in, to move into your neighborhood and they're so serious that they put a great offer on one of your neighbor's homes, which they can look this information up if they want. They can go to the, the, the Google machine and look at it. At 106 Forest Breeze, we're not chosen. Okay, my clients are, and I'm not gonna give last names, but I'm going to personalize this to almost my clients, right? My clients are Melanie and David, and they currently live in Brandon. They're local, right, with their two young children. The reason they have identified Hickory Woods, you, your neighborhood is unique for them, for their future home is the unique pairing of the proximity to Tampa along with great schools. Your home at blank could be a perfect match for them. If you have entertained the prospect of moving, even if it's just an idea or you're not ready right now, we should have a conversation. My buyers are willing to pay fair market value totally true they are pre-approved totally true with a local lender absolutely and they have a flexible timetable for the right house so I don't want anybody to get my letter and say I don't want to sell it tomorrow you know or um, you know I, I don't want to get into these you know I don't know anything about these buyers so I'm I'm just giving them as much as possible to kind of find bring to the surface the ones that might be thinking about selling and want kind of an easy transaction. So if you wish, you may have your realtor contact me. Hey, I'm uh, I'm not here to um, to really earn your you know I'm not just looking for listings. Please have your realtor contact me if you know one. If you don't have a realtor, I may be able to save you money on realtor commissions. Please call, text, or email me, and I can answer some of the questions you may have right now and um, I did I did sign all these as well so then I put my contact information my business address my email and then um, in case people want to look me up right um, I didn't heavily brand this I didn't put my picture on it um, web Facebook and Zillow I'm really coming at it from a, a position of I'm trying to help my clients so how do we personalize this well we use something on uh, Word uh, that that is mail merge. So uh, we are going to start a mail merge. We're going to do some letters, okay? And uh, we're going to select the recipients using an existing list. Remember that that list I had I had shown before CVS for mail merge in Hickory Woods. So what we want to do here is we're going to grab the list and we're going to insert, once we've identified the list, we're going to insert um, the, the, the fields, okay, owner one. That's actually exactly what I had shown you before. It's actually both owners, so it's the only merge field available, okay. Your home at, okay, let's see, make sure there's a space there. Um, your home at house number space street space and type of street space could be a perfect match for them okay so I've personalized it you know Betty and John Miller and your home at 111 Jeffrey Drive could be a perfect match for them so I'm not gonna put in you know the city the state and the zip there it's not necessary we're just telling them um, that we know where they live and this is a very specific letter to them 
All right, what do we do now? Um, we want to review. Oh yeah, that looks good. Marvin and Vicky, 109 Forest Breeze F. Yep, it's in all caps, it's fine. I'm good with that. Very good. And we're gonna finish and merge. What I'm gonna do is, since I'm not ready to just print right now, I like to get this into a PDF, okay? Um, so I'm gonna hit all right there. And what do we have here? This one is Mario Ben and Vicky at 109 Forest Breeze. This one is Richard and Rhonda at 105 Forest Breeze. And this one is Alicia and Michael at 103 Forest Breeze. So as long as I got my Excel spreadsheet correct, and this is 76 pages, okay? So we've got 76 pages. They're all a little bit different, so we're using Mail Merge, right? They're all a little bit different. Um, actually, I just saw. Oh, this last one's blank, whatever. Delete it, right? So um, as long as we do that, um, the information on the Excel, this will, will um, translate into this. So this is the easy stuff. It's the scrubbing and the making of the lists that, um, that is the hard work. So here's the list I actually used. So again, this was called Owner One. A better name for this would have been um, Owner's Full Name, but it doesn't really matter. I'm the only one that sees it. And then House Number, Street Number, Type, City, State, and Zip, okay? Um, so we saw how we did that, right? So, so now we did that. Okay, let's do something else. Now I gotta, now I gotta label all these, right? Okay. That's pretty cool. So then I can save this, save it as you know the full document. Um, it's it's then it's it's exactly how it is. You don't have the Excel attached to it or anything like that. Okay, let's do a new one. You can print those seventy five pages. Okay. Now we're going to go back into mailings, and we're going to start a mail merge of labels. Okay labels so you're gonna actually go through this and find the labels that work for you um, this is actually a pretty common label that we ordered um, really if you get the size correct that's the biggest thing address label one inch by two and five eighths um, it's a 3m post-it so you can you can pick your label vendor first and then a lot of the labels tell you exactly on the front of the packaging what they want I hit OK. All right, what do we do with this? All right, very similar. We are going to choose a receipts list. We're going to use an existing list. We're going to go grab the same list we just used. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to insert a merge field, owner one. We know it was called owner one, even though we just switched that. House number space, street, space, type, enter, city, space, state, space, zip, city, comma, right? City, comma, state. All right, the good news is we will get to preview this. All right. So here we go. Let's go over here. Let's see here. I want to center it. I want to increase the size of the owner's name a little bit. And I want to make it bold. And I want to actually change the font. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's see here. No, that doesn't work. Let's see. There was a good one. OK. That's pretty good. OK. Go back to mailings and go update fields. Okay? And preview. Marvin and Vicky, Richard and Rhonda. I don't really like this font, do I? I don't really like this font. This font's horrible. Like this font. That's a better font. 
mailings, update labels, preview. I don't like that font either, to be honest with you, but it doesn't matter. You guys get the idea. Sorry. Okay, let's see here. We, we need to bring that down maybe a little bit. Anyway, um, update, preview, all that good stuff. Okay, so you can, so this is 75 finish and merge individual docs. Bam. And now it'll give it to you right here. All your labels. I wouldn't choose this font because it doesn't really fit on here, but that's not the point. The point is you know how to do it. And um, you can now print these out. These are 75 individual labels to go along with your 75 individual letters. 75 individual letters, right? And you just match up the names when you're stuffing the envelopes, you match up the names um, to this, to this property. Okay, what was the result? Here it is. Okay, what was the result of this, uh, of this mailing? And this is, this is really the one that I did. Um, so from this mailing, I sent out 75 letters to the neighborhood. Um, and I got four phone calls, four phone calls out of 75. Um, we saw four off market properties with this technique and my buyers are under contract for one of them. Okay. So that's why I thought this was an important, an important training. A couple of things here, technical things that we can do. Um, you might have to go out there and create your own listings essentially is what I'm saying. You have a great buyer, go tell the world about it. Go tell their specific neighborhood. Hey, we just lost out on this, on this uh, property. They're pre-approved, they're ready to go. Whatever you wanna say. Um, worst case scenario, hey, you get, you get your name and your information in front of 75 different sellers, okay? Um, from now on, maybe I wanna start farming this neighborhood. Um, maybe I'm going to call it, maybe I'm going to door knock it. Okay. Um, none of those things, you know, just one mailing, I wouldn't expect to work, um, with, with regards to a long-term plan. But if this is uh, a neighborhood you really, really like, and you want to keep investing in it, in it, this is a great way to kind of start a farming program. Um, and, uh, so I hope you, you guys learned something. Thank you for coming to the training today and watching and if you guys have any uh, questions um, my information uh, was right here on the bottom of the letter Doug DeGroat I'm in uh, I'm in the Tampa market of, uh, of Florida here's my information and my email address feel free to reach out all right have a great day again thank you bye now